Hey GED students, super excited to tackle this one with you because this is just the kind of problem I love. Great review of what we've already learned, but we're looking forward here to how we're gonna need to use these concepts. So let's just go ahead, read it. It says, what number would have to replace the triangle to make a true statement? Okay, so what do I wanna do? I wanna put a number here where the triangle was in order to make something true. So just what I'm saying here is that there is a number that if I raise it to the third power is equal to 27. Now, if you memorized your perfect cubes, I think I only have the first six maybe um, up for you because we don't need to know that many for the GED. If you memorized your perfect cubes, you're already gonna know this, but if you didn't, that's cool. Remember, you can always guess and check. Like we could replace the triangle with some numbers and see what happens. So this would be a common guess for students because they're like nine times three is 27. Don't you think nine to the third power would be 27 too? And I say guessing is cool, dude. I don't care if you guess, that's fine. But it's, you gotta check. <laughs> guessing is not a math method. Guessing and checking. Now that is a legit strategy. So let's try it. Let's see if when we take nine and raise it to the third power, we get 27. Now, please remember that nine to the third power means the same as nine multiplying by not three, but itself three times. Nine multiplying by itself three times. So nine times nine is 81. And then I'm gonna go ahead and multiply it by nine. Now I can come over here and do 81 by nine in my side work if I really must. But I sincerely hope that you could see that if I'm already at 81 and I multiply by nine, I'm gonna get something a whole lot larger than 27. Yeah, sure, it was a nice guess, but it wasn't correct. <laughs> so from there, where do we go? Well, I got to be honest with you, probably the next thing that I would want to do is say to myself, even or odd number. Uh, because if I know if I multiply odd numbers, I'm going to get odd numbers. So I would probably just skip over two. And let's try three. So let's try three to the third power. What would happen if I would replace the triangle with three? Okay, so I guessed, but let me actually check. Three times three is nine, and nine times three, okay, now that is 27. So what number could I replace the triangle with? Well, I could replace it with three. Three cubed is equal to 27. That would give me a true statement. C is the correct answer. Now, all right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.